Tales from the End of the World Original Audio Productions presents The Whisper. Amy's heart raced as her flashlight darted around the room. The voice had come back, the faint, tickling sensation like hot breath on the ear. What the hell was it? Why was this happening? The tickle sensation. Amy screamed, jumped. She couldn't quite make it out, but it was urgent, or at least it felt that way. Her flashlight moved across the room slowly now, catching everything in its beam. Her heart slowed. Her breathing calmed. Became steady. Steady. Steady now. A faint sigh of relief. She reached up and wiped her brow and the sweat that formed up there. It still hurt where she had fallen earlier and bumped her head. That was going to bruise. <laughs> Be one hell of a goose egg. Silly, clumsy Amy. Her ovulus and spirit box gone. Brad, Sarah, and Stan gone. All lost somewhere in the cavernous dark halls of Ravencroft Manor. Then Brad passed through the beam of her flashlight in the doorway. Oh my god, Brad! She shouted as he passed. She ran out the room to where Brad was. As he continued to walk down the hallway, Brad, she shouted, running after him. What the hell was this? Was he ignoring her? Then the tickle, the hot breath, the desperate sounding words she could not make out, the whisper. Chills ran up her spine as the voice seemed to hold her in place as if hypnotized. Her body broke out in goosebumps. The whisper insisted to be heard. She finally caught a, a word. You. Her head where she hit it hurt all over again. As the paralysis broke and she fled down the hallway after Brad. Brad was gone. Swallowed up by the house again. She was alone with the voice following her. She bolted down the hallway screaming, Brad! She barged through the door at the end of the hall where they had set up the nerve center in what seemed like another life. It was empty. All their equipment gone. Where was it? Where'd it go? D did the house swallow it like everything else? Her heart raced. Her head pounded. She wanted to throw up and cry at the same time. Cold enveloped her. The tickle of the whisper came back. She closed her eyes and whined. Can't! She heard it say. She fled blindly down. Through another door. Down another dark, long hallway. Going left, right, left, right. In a blind, maddening dash to find the front door. The way out of this place. She thinks she was screaming, but it's all hazy in, in the distance. As the dash she was making. Somehow, in all the haste, the whisper kept up with her. And the chill. The tickle. Her head and heart pounding. Silently praying not to hear the voice again. Leave. You can't leave. Watch me, you son of a bitch. She turned the corner. The door. The front fucking door. And outside, the guys packing up the van. Oh, thank God. She reached the door, and it spoke one last time. Me. She went to run out the open door and rebounded as if she hit a wall. What the hell was going on? Was the house keeping her here? She ran to the invisible wall and she began to pound on it, yelling for their attention. Please, guys, I'm here. Please, guys, you can't leave me. You can't leave me. They didn't look as she fell to her knees, crying. His blood began to drip down the place where she had bumped her forehead. You can't leave me. Amy whispered over and over again. Closing her eyes. Brad stared at the house with a pang. 
Had it really been three years since they were last here? Since the accident? The loss of one of the remembers? Stan stopped loading up the truck. Hey guys, did you hear a whisper? Inside, Amy's heart raced as her flashlight darted around the room. Hey guys, uh, I'd like to thank you for listening if you've made it this far into the video. Uh, I would also like to encourage you to like, subscribe to the channel, help us grow and become something more, comment and share these videos. I also encourage you to check out our other videos and please uh, check out all necessary social media links that we add to the description below. And uh, cheers, this is your host.